12 Things Super Successful People Do Before Bed. This article was written by Maggie Punizka and provided by our partners at Prevention. We love to pick the brains of successful people. Because if they've achieved great things, they must be doing something right, right? We've already asked the high achievers what they get done before breakfast, so we were curious to get the details on their bedtime routines. Do they go on Netflix benches like we do? Cross things off their to-do list? Come down with deep breathing? We tap 12 people entrepreneurs, doctors, authors, real estate agents, and more oh see how they make use of their time before they turn in make 2017 your year by taking charge of your health and jump starting your weight loss with the prevention calendar and health planner. They dress to decompress I don't sleep in workout clothes anymore. Like a lot of people, I did it for a long time because I wanted to have zero excuses for exercise if my leggings and sports bra were on, it was a cue I had to go. But I realized that was a confusing message to be sending my brain before bed, workout gear is on, but it's time to wind down? I switched to pajamas, nightdresses, or just t-shirts nests that are only used for sleep and my brain now gets the message that it's time to rest. Rihanna Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post and author of The Sleep Revolution They set the table every night, I set the table for breakfast the next morning. It's important to me to have a sit-down meal with my family odd one of those eating while standing or running out the door ordeals. It's nothing too fancy or over the top, just placemats, plates, napkins, and cups. Sitting down for breakfast sets the tone for the day, and it's time that I'm able to spend with my kids. Ari Glassman, RD, nutritionist and founder of the nutrition school they read quotes I open a quote book to a random page am loving brave enough by Cheryl Strayed lately and d reflect on the message. In some ways I think there is a bit of fate involved in the selection of the quote and what I should be focusing on in life. I do this with my kids as well. It's a thought provoking way to reflect on the day and calm the mind. Amy Helton Party, founder and CEO of the real estate firm Helton, Party Plus Partners They zone out to foreign TV on evenings when I'm really amped up and need to wind down. I watch shows on Amazon or Netflix in French, a language I started learning in high school. The act of having to slow down and really listen to what the actors are saying forces all the areas of the brain to focus, so my mind can wander. I always watch on a computer or mobile device with the blue light waves omitted so it doesn't disrupt my sleep when I'm ready to crash. Side note, it seems to be working why French friends said they have noticed a difference. Matthew Imston, CEO of Proof Pilot, they work out aches and pains with a foam roller. I turn off my computer half an hour before getting into bed and spend about 10 minutes lying on a foam roller, kneading out my legs, glutes, and back. Research has shown that foam rolling reduces muscle fatigue and soreness, whether you are doing it after a tough workout or after sitting in the office all day. It's a relaxing ritual, and it helps me to wake up less stiff in the morning am getting old. Manda Freeman, founder of SLT in New York City They have a bedtime snack. When I was a little girl, my mother would give me milk and a cookie to send me off to dreamland. Today, I do a healthier version, about 30 minutes before I turn in, I like to pair protein with a complex carb, like cheese and whole wheat crackers or Greek yogurt and granola. And milk products contain tryptophan, which specially when combined with complex carbs onwards to the snooze promoting hormones serotonin and melatonin. Here are the best bedtime snacks for weight loss. Errol Lieberman, MD, media psychiatrist and author They get inspired I scroll through my favorite Facebook and Instagram pages on design, photography, and art. Tom Dixon, Colette, and Garance Dory are a few of my favorites. At work we do so much visual and creative thinking, and skimming these pages fuels my own creative spirit and sparks ideas while I sleep. Abrina Tan, founder of Skin Incorporated They figure out tomorrow's blueprint I'm old school, I carry around a physical calendar. It's color coded, and I stick pieces of paper with reminders in it. It is my life bible, and I probably look like a crazy person with it, but it works for me. At night I figure out the next day. I juggle the TV show, two different offices in different cities, charity events, family, marriage, and so on. 
I need it all in one place a big picture at my fingertips. Once I go to bed, I am prepared. It's my sense of security. NDREW Orton, MD, co-host of syndicated daytime series The Doctors They Daydream During the Day, you get so caught up that you don't look at the bigger picture. So at night when I am alone and relaxed, I like to let my mind wander. Of course, I'm thinking about my company but not in the sense of feeling frantic. Rather, I'm allowing my mind to meander peacefully so that I can gain new perspective. During this me time, I'm recapping the events of the day, thinking about what I did well, what I could have done better, and what I need to do tomorrow. By organizing myself mentally at in a really relaxed state of mind the night before I go to sleep, I feel better prepared for what's to come when I wake up in the morning. I give myself new goals, and I let myself get inspired by new ideas. Oni Frank, co-founder and head of clinical services at Talkspace They Totally Unwind, guilt-free I light a few candles, pour some wine, and turn on some trashy television. I teach several intense cycling classes a week, which means I not only burn a lot of energy physically, but I'm also always mentally engaged, prepping for class, pushing my students, or brainstorming new ways to make classes more challenging and fun. So when I get home, I put on Real Housewives or Dance Moms or something equally horrific and I detach from my day. Reed Branker, Master Instructor and Director of Creative Integration at Imagshift, a boutique cycling studio in New York City. They take a trip down memory lane. I pull up YouTube videos of songs that bring back good memories, like More Than a Feeling by Boston Freshman Year of College or Bad by Michael Jackson The Birth of My First Child. It helps me reconnect to friends, family and good memories. Settles me down mentally and physically. And leaves me with a soothing feeling of nostalgia. Avid Givens, general manager at Hilton Wake Aloha Village in Hawaii they do a dye massage I like to rub down my feet with coconut oil. Running my own chiropractic clinic, I am standing all day working with patients, so by the time I get home, my feet are sore and pulsating. I was looking up alternative medicine remedies online and saw that coconut oil is said to improve circulation and reduce inflammation. My feet also get really hot at night, and it used to wake me up, but with the coconut oil, I don't have that problem anymore. I have been rubbing my feet for a year now, and not only does this habit get rid of the pain, the massage also helps me relax after a busy day and puts me in a calm state before bed. Abina to here. Philadelphia-based chiropractor.